If you love Canva, you'll love this easy to use drag and drop website maker. How's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build a website for your business quickly and easily. The software I'm going to show you is called Zyro.com. Here you can create a website or online store for your business in minutes with hundreds of designer made templates. Like Canva, these are fully customizable, so no web design experience is needed. Why Zyro? Zyro is extremely affordable with packages starting from $3 a month and all packages include free web hosting. They also have a monthly subscription so you can use it for as long as you want and you don't need to be tied into a long term contract. Another good thing about Zyro is that they have focused on making sure their websites are extremely fast. Google uses site speed as a ranking factor in search results, so having a fast site helps you rank better and get more traffic. It also helps improve conversions if you have an e-commerce site, so that's definitely a great benefit. In this video, I'll show you step by step how you can create a website for your business from scratch using Zyro. These are the steps I'm going to go through today. I'll put more detailed timestamps in the description. As always, this video will be packed with information, so stay tuned to the end so you don't miss out. If you do find this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe as this would help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Grab Zyro's Black Friday deal for a limited time only. Click the link in the description or use my code LEARNWITHSEB to get up to 86% off plus three months free with any yearly plan. So let's get into it. Firstly, head over to Zyro.com and create an account. Once you sign in, you can go through the wizard to create your site. You'll be presented with three options. Today, I'll show you how to create a website using a template. First thing you want to do is select a category depending on the nature of your business, whether it's a corporate site or an online store or a personal brand website. I'll select online store for this tutorial because sooner or later you might want to sell something online and it will also cover how to create a general website. So I'll just click on the e-commerce tab. Now you can see a selection of all the templates, as you can see, very professional. Let's take a look at Ensign. Clicking preview shows you what the website will look like. This template looks nice with some strong product images. As you can see, it's laid out in blocks, which is very popular. It also has a minimalist menu at the top, which I like. There's also a newsletter sign up form in a footer, which is great. Let's take a quick look at the shop page. There are plenty of products on show here to give you a feel of what it will look like. You can delete these later, but otherwise it looks clean and simple. Let me also have a quick look at the actual product page and see if I like it. Okay, nice strong image here, clear and simple. I think we'll go with this template. If you click on these icons at the top, you can see what the site will look like on various devices. As you'd expect, the website is fully responsive. Okay, once you've decided on a template, you can click on start building in the top corner. This brings you to the editor. Just like Canva, it has an editing menu on the left hand side. You can edit pages, add elements, change global styles such as fonts and colors, manage and edit your blog posts. If you have an e-commerce template, this shopping cart button allows you to manage your online store. You will need to be on, on, on the e-commerce plan to set up an online store. I'll come back to that in a minute. This red button has some cool AI features to help you create a logo write text and also view a heat map of where people's attention will be drawn to on the page. At the bottom is the general settings to manage your website including the domain, integration such as Google Analytics, the SEO and your online store. We'll come back to that later. So let's customize our site. It's really easy to edit the website. You just hover over any particular section or element, click on it and then the respective editing options will appear. So when you click on a text element, you have options to edit the text, duplicate the element or delete it. Double clicking the text allows you to change it as with any text editor and you, then you have the usual text editing options up here. 
These heading options here are not just for size, but they are also important for SEO as well. The main heading of the page should always be a heading one, sometimes known as a H1 heading. This is where you place important key phrases that you want Google to rank you for. So I'll just put on, I'll just put in my brand name, Learn With Seb. Now Google will know this page is about Learn With Seb, my brand name. You should only have one heading one per page and the keywords in the heading one should also be similar to the keywords in your title tag. The title tag is the name of the page and shows up as the main link in Google search engine results pages. You can change the title tag for the page by going to pages and navigation in the top left, then find the page you want to edit and click the gear icon to open up the settings for that page. Select page settings and you can change the name in navigation or click the SEO tab to change the page title and also the description. I'm just mentioning these because it's good to get your SEO optimized when you're creating the site and creating any new pages. It's better to work in your SEO optimizations during the website build process than going back into it and then editing each page one by one. I could go into far more detail, but that's outside the scope of this video. I'll keep it short and sweet for now. You can edit the background image. You just click on it and the options appear. You can then replace the image and change the opacity. So just click on change background and then replace image. Now you can upload your own images or use free images from Unsplash. I'm just going to type in laptop and add a picture of a laptop, then click add to page. Now you could change the opacity here. I have white text and the background is already quite dark, so I'll leave the opacity as it is. The same goes for adding a logo. You just click on the existing logo, click on change logo, and then you can replace the image here from your logo saved on your computer. So I'll just quickly upload my image. Once that's uploaded, click add to page. And then as you can see, it appears in the top left hand corner. Now there are options here at the top. You can edit the style and edit the header. If you click on edit the header, you can change the size of the logo. Now to edit buttons, you do that in a similar way. You can just click on it and the editing op options appear. Now to move elements around, you just click and drag it around the screen. The website works on a grid system, so you will notice boxes appear and when you let go, it will snap into a specific grid slot. This is helpful when you're trying to line up different elements. To change the height of a section, you can hover over the line at the top or bottom and drag it up or down. You can also add new sections. The good thing about this is that they have a lot of pre-made sections to choose from, so this saves a lot of time. Click add a section and you can add images, galleries, contact forms, maps and video sections. I'll just add in a video here. I'll just click on this and it appears. It looks like the text is too large. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly reduce the size of this header text. So it's a header three at the moment. I'll change it down to a header five. So now that fits nicely. Now to change or to add a video, click on edit video and you need to add in a link to your video. So what I'll do is I'll grab a link from my channel Learn With Seb and just paste the link where it says video link. Now the video will be embedded on the site. As you can see there are options at the bottom for autoplay and loop and also to show video controls. If you want to add any other elements to a section you can find them all in the add elements tab. So you can add more buttons or text or anything else. Just like Canva, you just drag it onto the page and let go and it appears. So I can add a contact form and I can also add some text here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com forward slash learn with Seb. Once you finish this page, you can edit all the other pages by navigating to them from the pages and navigation section. Selecting any of these allows you to edit any of these pages. You can also reorder them if you wish. 
To edit your online store and manage your products, you need to click on the online store tab. Then open the store manager. As I mentioned previously, you will need the e-commerce subscription to access this section. Once you have the subscription, you need to assign the website to that subscription. So you go to your subscriptions from your dashboard, then click assign to website. You'll see a list of your websites here. I only have one for now, then click on link subscription. Now under your my websites tab, which is under zyro.com forward slash sites, you'll see an e-commerce plus label added to the website. This is the subscription I have. I've quickly added another website to show you what it will look like with multiple sites. You'll see the e-commerce plus is assigned to one of them. Now you can go in and edit your website. This will now bring you back to the main editor where your website is now linked to your subscription. So if we click on online store and then store manager, hopefully we should have access to the store manager. And there we go. Here you can add products, view sales and manage your store. There is a handy to-do list here showing your progress. The first thing I would do is click on payment and set up a payment method. They have Stripe, Square, PayPal and a host of others. You will have to create an account with one of these companies if you don't have one already and then connect it to Xyro. There are more payment options here depending on which country you are located in. Once that is sorted, you can add your products. Go back to the dashboard, click catalog and then products and then add products. Then you can fill in all the product details and add images. You can then also preview the product. Along the top, there are various menus to add more information related to your product, including an SEO tab so you can fill in your SEO information here straight away. Once done, click save and you have your first product up and running. Now, when you go to your shop, you will see the product is added at the bottom, along with all the example products that were already on the template. Depending on how many products you have to add, this whole setup should take no more than one hour. Feel free to play around with the design and go through the rest of the settings. I don't want to make this video too long, so feel free to explore all the main areas. Now that is set up, we need to connect the domain and then publish the site. To connect the domain, go back to the main editor, click on settings and then domain. You can either buy a new domain or connect a custom domain. To connect the domain, you need to log into your domain host and replace the name servers. It sounds complicated, but it's not at all. All you are doing is telling your domain name host to point to Xyro server and this would connect your domain to your Xyro website. So put in the domain name you want to use for your website. This is if you've already bought it. Now it's going to ask you for your domain provider. I use GoDaddy so that should appear on a list. I'll select GoDaddy and then continue. Now it's giving me three steps. Basically it's asking you to log into your GoDaddy account or whatever account holds your domain name. So I'll click sign in to GoDaddy and it will load up in a new tab. I'll just sign in. Make sure you have two-step verification on for your domain names. Once that loads, click on the domain name you want to change. I'll use learnwithseb.com as an example. Once that loads, I can now manage the domain. What I'm looking for is manage DNS. This is going to be different depending on your domain name provider. So just find somewhere where it has manage DNS. Now I can update my name servers. And this is the bit I need to change. These are my current name servers. These DNS settings point to my current provider. So now if I go back to Xyro, it's giving me two name servers that I need to put in here. So I'll put them in one and two. You can leave three and four blank, then click save. Now say replace them. 
and it says it may take up to 24 hours for your domain to be fully connected to your website. Done. It's just a matter of waiting for that to happen. If you have any issues with connecting your domain, you can contact Zyro's customer service. They're available 24 seven. They have a chat box here, or you can contact them via email. Once that's all sorted and you're happy with your site, you can click update website or publish in the top right hand corner and you are up and running. That's it, a super easy website builder. If you like what you see, once again, you can grab Zyro's Black Friday deal for a limited time only. Click the link in the description or use my code LEARNWITHSEB to get up to 86% off, plus three months free with any yearly plan. Otherwise, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.